Hey, this is day six of the series Radical, Radical Faith, Radical Prayer, and Radical Evangelism. I'm here today to talk to you about a subject that's dear to me because it's taken me many years to get to the place to where I understand this. The subject I'm going to talk to you about today is wisdom, understanding, and faith. There's many different Bible scriptures that talk about wisdom and understanding and faith. But when you bring all three of them together, we can have a radical approach to each one of them. When we bring them together and, and use them in the way that the Holy Spirit leads us to use them, we can be more effective as radical witnesses in the kingdom of God. God's purpose for each one of us is to become radical, effective witnesses in His kingdom. And if we don't apply these things the way that the Scripture says, then we'll just have all three of them separately and, and we'll be effective to a certain limitation. But God wants to take limits off of us in this era, in this time, and He wants us to go forth in a mighty, strong, radical way, winning the lost. I believe without a shadow of a doubt that we're in a season where there's more people that are searching for the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ than ever before. I want to read to you some scripture real quickly. James 1, 5 through 8. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that gives all men liberally and uprides not, and it shall be given him. Verse 6 says, But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavers is like waves of the sea, driven with the winds and tossed. Verse 7 says, For let not that man think he shall receive anything of the Lord. Verse 8 says a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. So James gives us an example here about how to gain radical wisdom. What we have to do is simply ask. If we ask, God will give. So we need to ask God for wisdom. And in the wisdom that He gives us will come understanding. Understanding of His ways, His will for our lives. And with these two applied together, our faith will increase. And as our faith increases, we'll be able to go forth as mighty warriors in the kingdom of God. And we'll be able to accomplish the task that's set before us in this day and in this hour for the kingdom of God. It is at hand, and we must go forth in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen.